Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Guys, I just wanted to tell you this, man. Everything in life that's worth something is hard. It's either hard to get or hard to create. So, with that saying, I want to put it an example. Let's say gold. It's hard to find gold. It's hard to find diamonds. It's hard to, you know, build uh, a fucking Rolls Royce. It costs a lot of money because people got to do it by hand. Hand stitch, you know, fucking build everything customizable. It costs a lot of money for a reason. So for you guys, when you create something and a client comes to you and tells you, hey man, I only got this much. I only got, mm, you want to, you know, you want 2000 I only got 700 Then give them $700 worth of the code. Give them half of the code and tell them, hey, See if you can make this work with half of the code. When you have the other half, I'll make the rest of it work for you. Right? Because people don't want to give you value, right? They don't want to give value to your work. A lot of people, especially when doing freelance, they don't want to give that value to your work. They think like, oh man, if I put this on Elance, they charging me $3. The Indians are charging me $3. Why should I pay you, you know? Uh, $45 an hour, $50 an hour. Well, I could go on Elance and, and pay, you know, $3.50 an hour. Well, that's when you tell them, hey, buddy, listen, man, you contacted me. I didn't contact you, right? That's number one. Number two, you got to understand there's different type of quality. If you want to get a shitty quality, something that's going to break tomorrow, go ahead and get it from Elans and, and pay the, your three dollars and fifty cents, right? But if you want quality and you want something that's gonna last you, something that you can be sure it works, and something that I'm going to support, like most of those guys, they on um, Elans, they go in, they sign up with fake names, and then they disappear because nobody wants to pay taxes, right? So they go in there, and put fake names, fake accounts, and they disappear. So if you if this guy creates something for you and you don't have contact for him how is he going to support the software or support the you know the web development for your website how is he going to help you out whenever you need a, a couple of changes are you going to keep on hiring more developers every time that one developer disappears you know that's why a lot of times you see projects where over 20 people have worked on it i've seen a project where Every single line was written by somebody else. And you'd be like, how the hell did, did this shit happen? And it's because people don't want to spend that money. They don't want to spend that money saying, hey, I got a dedicated developer working on this. I have a dedicated team that I hire for this. Somebody that I can trust, somebody that I can put, you know, I can create a contract with and say, hey, this person created my website. So if this person created my website, he has the obligation to support that website, support that framework that he put in. You know, like those are the things that I tell a client. You know, like if you want me to build something for you, you have to understand that well, number one, this thing takes time. Number two, for it to be really good, we have to test it and test it and test it. And that means those are hours of testing it making sure that everything works, you know? So those are something that I tell people. I tell them like, hey man, I'm working on your website, but you gotta understand there's a value to this thing. There's a price to it. You're getting quality work. It's not like you found me in the street. I wasn't in a corner. I wasn't in, in, in like, you know, I wasn't in the alley, you know? I was <laughs> I wasn't some crackhead looking for work. You know what I mean? Like I'm a professional, buddy. You know what I mean? That's why you came to me. So that's why you got to make sure you get paid your full amount. Don't let nobody come and, and, and how you call it bamboozle you and just take your your time cuz nobody's going to give you time back. That time that you spend working on, uh, on a client, 
website or working on, on something for a client, doesn't matter what it is, if it's a phone application, doesn't matter if it's a website, doesn't matter if it's a software, doesn't matter if it was in the database, that time, nobody's going to give you that time back. That time that you put in for that client, nobody's going to give you that time back. So the only way that you're going to get, you know, your award, which is what I always say, man, money doesn't bring happiness, but at least it gives an award to you. Like say, hey, you spend, you know, 300 hours on a project, you know, 300 hours. He has 20 grand. You know what I mean? Like he has 10 grand. Like it makes sense. You'll be like, okay, now when your wife is nagging at you and be like, oh, man, you're always on the computer. Oh, you're always doing this and that. Or when your friends is telling you, hey, man, what happened, man? You don't even play ball no more. You don't even come outside, man. Like, come on, let's hang out. Now you have an excuse. Now you could be like, hey, man, I got money in my pocket. I didn't did it again. That's when you tell them like that. Because, you know, it's your hard work, man. You put it in that work. So make sure you get paid for it. Don't do things for free, man. Don't let people bamboozle you. Don't let people come in and, and tell you, oh, man, can, you know, it's like you you both said y'all were going to do something for 2000 and the guy come up to you and be like, listen, man, I only got 700 right now. You give me a week, I'm going to give you the rest. Nah, man, you ain't getting nothing. You could give me those 700 if you want, and then next week I'll give you the rest. So, that's all I'm saying, guys. Don't get bamboozled about people in here, man. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys later, man. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy is live and I done did it again. Now, if you really want to become a developer, man, my advice is check out my description. My description is going to have a couple of courses from Udemy and a link directly to my website that's going to give you 50% off on everything. The yearly subscription, the monthly subscription, the one-time purchase, and you get access to all of my courses that I'm creating every single day for you guys. Stuff that you don't see here on YouTube. A lot of the courses that I'm creating here on YouTube, they're only seeing like half of it, right? So make sure you come to the website, man. You're going to get a great deal and you're going to learn a lot. I'm putting my heart into this. I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that you get that job and you get those skills that it's going to get you that job. Wow.